everyone, I'm back from my holiday. I came back a couple of weeks ago, but I had to adjust, you know. Um, well, going back to work was quite a hard landing. We're quite busy at the moment. Uh, and this video will be about my holidays and where I went, uh, my favorites for beauty, what I used. And um, uh, YouTube um, sent me a message that now I can upload longer videos. So this video will be a little bit longer than usual. And uh, well, it's not going to be too long. I hope you stick around and watch it. It's uh, quite interesting. First of all, of all uh, I want to show you where I uh, went. I've got a paper here with um, what I'm going to uh, tell you because I've got to tell you quite a lot. So um, starting with where I went. I went to the island of Serifos, uh, which is a gorgeous Greek island in the Cyclades. And uh, it is so beautiful, especially the beaches, um, the sea. Um, and the beaches are absolutely stunning. We went to three or four different ones and uh, each of them was unique. Uh, the, um, the sea is turquoise blue, the water is amazing, perfect temperature and uh, there are sandy beaches, most of them. There are a couple of tavernas around, you can go and have uh, lunch after you had uh, your swim and it was not crowded at all uh, it was just the, the right amount of people so that it's joyful but not too crowded and um the um the island consists of the port which is where we we lived uh, quite close uh, to the port and uh, we were going down a path and there we were at the beach and there was an internet cafe restaurant over there I could check my Facebook and upload my video and all that and the food was delicious as usual in most of the tavernas in Greece and um, then you go you there are cars unfortunately in you know in Serifos you have to go to most of the places by car it's not a small island like Spetses where we used to go for 40 years and I'm used to walking and going to places uh, just by walking or taking a horse uh, drawn carriage in Serifos you need a car and the bad thing is you walk along the promenade where they have the bars and the restaurants and um, cars pass um, next to you which is the only thing I didn't like so at the main uh, port area um, there are lots of bars and cafes and restaurants and my favorite one was the Yacht Club and it is very so beautifully decorated as you will see at the pictures but the most important thing is they play the most fantastic music they played my favorite kind of music which is classic rock uh, alternative uh, um, 80s uh, new wave uh, they even played a song by the uh, high numbers which for those who are in the know would know that these were the who before they became the who they were called the high numbers so they played a song with the high numbers and my jaw dropped I said, oh my god how do they know this song this place is amazing so i was so chuffed about it so that's the port area then you go up the hill you have to climb steep steps which I didn't mind, the going down was my problem and um, th th you have the Hora and uh, this picture doesn't really show the beauty of the place I took it from the port looking up the Hora but when you go up the view is amazing you can see the whole of the island and they have uh, cafes and restaurants and bars so we went there on my name day which was 15th of August because in Greece we celebrate the name day so if you're called Maria 
your name day is 15th of August, which is the Ascension of the Virgin Mary. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm digressing. And we went there, we had a lovely dinner in a fantastic taverna. The food was, again, delicious. And my sister got me this bag. I love Serifos. And uh, I'm gonna use it for my shopping. And this is a true statement. I really love Serifos. And another fact that made me love the island even more was the fact that people love dogs. Everybody has a dog. And... Um, we found a stray dog and we also found a lady who wanted the dog. So one night we saw the doggy, uh, you know, running along uh, the streets. So we got him and my nephew took him to that lady and now he has a home. So we did a good deed as well. The next thing I want to talk to you about is uh, the makeup I took with me and uh, my favorites for my holidays. I went a bit OTT. Have a look at this. Do you want to see how much makeup I took with me? Are you ready for this? Ta-da! I don't know, WTF, I was thinking when I was packing. Like I was going away for the whole, for the rest of my life and I have to take with me everything that is in my drawers. So, I took three four eyeshadow palettes the naked one the um uh, two-faced one uh the mac palette i took with me the both glow kits from uh, 17 <laughs> as a seal booster um you know for my eyelashes i don't know why uh, a couple of uh, moisturizing creams i used the one I took with me this, which I didn't use, so many other things, 3, 4 mark lipsticks, and my brush collection, the whole thing. So after packing all this stuff, I used very little. Because I was getting tanned and it was so hot, my skin couldn't take a lot of makeup. I used my e.l.f. tinted moisturizer, which finished while I was on holiday. So that's a certain repurchase. And then I might have used the Naked palette once or twice. My MAC palette with the four colors another couple of times the most. But the main thing I used was the 17 Pink Glow um palette a shimmer brick so I used it as a highlighter as a bronzer and mainly as eye shadows so this color which I'm also wearing in my on my eyes right now I don't know if you can see because it's glary uh, this color is a nice pink shimmery pink so i used it as eyeshadow remember i have the uh, gold one uh and uh i was saying in one of my previous videos that i want to find the pink one i found it a bit disappointed okay the bronze part at the bottom it doesn't even swatch i can't even see it on my finger a bit disappointed and then I used my <laughs> look how small it has become my Avon Super Shock eyeliner which is at the end of its tether and last time I checked on the Avon website it was either out of stock or they stopped doing it and I'm gonna check again because I, bear, I, I literally can't live without it. It is the, be the best eyeliner I've ever tried. So that was my makeup. My eyebrows, of course, and a um, bit of lipstick. I took with me my lip butters by Revlon, and I was wearing these. And that was it. Uh, what I really enjoyed, though, let's put these all back in the 
makeup bag. What I really enjoyed was uh, taking a shower in the morning to get ready to go to the beach and then taking one after the um, visit to the beach, after swimming and sunbathing and all that. Uh, and um, I really enjoyed uh, the products that the toiletries that I I took with me um, so yeah I took with me the makeup bag a huge toiletry bag this which was with my uh, nail polishes and um, I really liked how effective the um, boots conditioning nail polish remover pads are which is this this was full of pads and they're quite thin and they remove the nail polish so quickly and so easily and then they have little oil to condition your nails and your hands fantastic and i wore this color by body m this is it shows darker than it is in reality this is number 317 blue moon and uh, this looked fantastic on the nails especially in the sea so i'm jumping from one subject to the other sorry in my toiletry bag i took this which is the ray dog spa radiant shower scrub with fig and carrying natural neroli oil the smell smells like summer it reminds me so much of serifos now and um, it is very good scrub and it made me feel really refreshed Let me get a little light really really refreshed uh, and uh, it was um, a revelation for me I never tried Redox before um, I thought they were a bit, you know, ordinary, nothing like, let's say, a lush uh, shower gel or the ones that I like are the palm olive, um, the palm olive range. But when I smell this in a super drug, I really like the smell, so I got that and I'm very happy. The other thing, of course, were my shampoo and my conditioner. This is the Aussie Miracle Moist and the bo bottle is a limited edition one it smells oh my god it smells like bubble gum it is my favorite smell for a shampoo it is amazing I could eat it I could do this all day <laughs> it smells so nice and the hair was very um, uh, moistured and uh, silky then I would also use in the morning before I went to um, to the beach and I was taking my shower I would I said that on my blog and on my previous video I would put the Aussie Miracle color insurance which is a live-in conditioner and um, it it uh, coated my hair so it was protected when I was uh, at the beach and before I went to the sea of course with the sea water it would dissolve but it was protected all this time and um, this smells also very nice and I like the fact that it says at the back by the way if you're reading this on the beach we are jealous it's raining here and I like that because of the a season difference uh, with Australia and I like the humor you know in in the bottle so after taking a shower in the afternoon I would always put the Nivea irresistibly smooth body lotion and this is a travel size I picked at uh, the airport and smells like um, Nivea you know the quality and uh, the um, effects of a good Nivea body lotion you you can't falter that and then in the afternoon um, I mean in the sorry in the evening when we would come back from everywhere and I was going to uh, take off my makeup what we need every night with my sister is watch um, the DVDs of, of uh, Miranda 
and she really loved them. She was laughing so much. I think it is Miranda is the queen of comedy. So we were watching this, and I would take off my makeup with Caudalie Eau de Maquillage. This is the one I got from uh, Space Space and K, which uh, you know they invited me to take um, a gift from them for my birthday and because I was ashamed just to take the gift and go. I also bought this, which is like the, it, it is a cleansing water, like the Bioderma, and, um, uh, okay, this video is, is dragging al along uh, too much, so I will say this and then bid you farewell. So when I went to Greece, <coughs> it was very funny because the first thing, I saw her, I slept at, at my sister's place the first night. So the first thing I saw when I went into her bathroom was the Bioderma cleansing water. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, they sell it in Greece. And it's around 18 euros for the small bottle in Greece. I forgot to mention I got a new haircut. This was done by my very good friend Evie who's got hairdressers in Athens called By Appointment and I'm going to put a link below for her website and um, she's done a great job I really like the new length and she uh, did a different parting and um, according to her advice I should get a lighter tone on my hair and maybe some highlights so I'm going to do that so that was it that was my first long video. I hope you didn't get very bored and you stuck around. Um, let me know how your summer went. You can either write it in the comments where you went, what you did, what were your favorites, all that. Or you can leave a video response. And uh, I would love if you could uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I've got um, 25 subscribers at the moment, which is, you know, not a huge amount compared to thousands and thousands for other YouTubers, but um, it's a nice milestone and it made me happy. Uh, more videos to follow. Uh, it's going to be a quite exciting uh, winter as I will travel to Istanbul later this month, so I will have a lot uh, to talk to you about for this one plus I have a lot of dreams and plans for this um, channel and uh, I hope I see you soon take care and bye bye